podcast. It's one of the oldest systems of exclusion in the world. Despite the ban on untouchability 70 years ago, it impacts 1.9 billion people today. Every 15 minutes, a crime is perpetrated against a Dalit. The average age of death for Dalit women is just 39, and the wreckages of caste are replicated here in the United States too, erupting online with rape and death threats, showing up at work, and forcing countless Dalits to live in fear of being outed. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by caste pain and the polarization, hatred, and bigotry that has arisen from caste. And yet, in the face of all this violence, I chose to follow the example of the Buddha and to sit, to take this terrible moment of the pandemic as a time to reflect on how we got here and what we can do to heal from thousands of years of oppression. The result is my book, The Trauma of Caste, a Dalit feminist meditation on survivorship, healing, and abolition. I wrote this book so that we could finally address the soul wound that is caste, acknowledge its historical and intergenerational harms, but also so that we can tend to it and let it be a teacher, so that we never allow such dehumanization again. It ties Dalit movements to liberation struggles around the world, including historical solidarities with Black, Indigenous, Latinx, Asian, feminist, and queer movements around the world, laying bare the grief, rage, and stolen futures inflicted on all of us by caste. It is a love letter to all who would heal from violence and are committed to a visionary future that frees all of us. This book is rooted in the commitment that the opposite of genocide is to fight for life. And I hope this book is one light out of many to help us out of the darkness. The Trauma of Cast, coming November 15th, 2022.